But hey, I am going to get started on this. This is so cool. Hey, if you have your aging parents living with you, if you yourself have heart disease, there's a brand spanking new procedure to help treat advanced heart disease, folks. It's called lithotripsy. You're like, wait, I've heard of this before, right? Don't worry about it. We'll explain. Uh, the physician who is safely doing it, he's already done it. It modifies the calcified plaque that restricts blood flow to the heart. You know, you've heard of, of these procedures before. Well, joining me now is the first doctor to perform it right here in the state of Nevada. And I know him. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Karthik Narala. Yes, you've seen him here before. He, he, we talked to each other. He's like, Monica, there's this new procedure. I think I'm going to be the first one to do it in the entire state. I said, let's book it. So here he is. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Monica, good morning. How are you? I am doing great. Let's get right into it. Where and when did it all happen? How's the patient doing right now? Um, he's doing great. Actually, uh, it was FDA approved February 16th. Um, we were able to get it in the state uh, very quickly. We, we did the procedure uh, March 8th. Uh, patient uh, did well. It was done at, at St. Rose Siena in Henderson. Nice. And he, and he went home the very next day. Okay, so tell me about the procedure. Give me a little detail, Dr. Narala, and why it's such a big deal, because I have heard of lithotripsy before. Yeah, and it's a technology that's been around for decades. Um, we used to use it uh, as doctors in uh, patients that have had kidney stones, and so it's basically an ultrasound that will um, break up calcium in the kidney stones, and that used to allow people to... Um, uh, get rid of the stones, and now what they've done is basically use that technology to put it inside of a small small balloon, mm -hmm. and then that balloon is able to be put into the heart, into the arteries, and it um, in arteries that have really uh, bad calcium buildup because that plaque that builds up in the arteries has been around for ages. Um, it used to be that it was very hard to get rid of that, and mm -hmm. we used to have to use very strong drills and other mechanisms to get rid of that. But now with this technology, you can put that same technology into the heart, into the artery, and you turn it around, and it breaks up that calcium so that you can open up the rest of the vessel much easier. Nice. Okay, so is there a specific group, Dr. Narala, that is most likely to need this procedure? Again, I was talking about, you know, our aging parents. They're moving in with us even before the pandemic hit, that there was a shift in the family dynamic. So our aging parents were moving in. They're taking, you know, our, uh, my sister right now, uh, my parents live with her, and she makes sure that they get the health care that they need. There's been a shift. So what age? group is most likely to need this? Well, it's usually people that have had calcium and plaque for a while. So as plaque, when it first put, gets put into the arteries, when it gets starts building up into the arteries, it's very soft. And as the calcium builds up on the plaque, um, the plaque becomes very hard. So it's definitely people that are um, have had heart disease or may not even know that they've had heart disease, but the plaque has been slowly building up. So it's not uh, this procedure is not for somebody that has an emergent issue mm -hmm. um, with a heart attack that we normally see. It's more of that, that, that slow, chronic heart disease that's been around for decades or maybe uh, five to ten years that has had a chance to get calcium built okay. up on it. Gotcha. Okay. And I'm, I'm just about out of time, but real quick, tell me how this procedure works in the age of COVID. Are there any extra measures needed to be taken as a result of it? Well, at this time, we have a, a strict uh, policy with the hospitals. They're doing a very good job of uh, screening uh, patients for COVID. And um, uh, it's basically no additional precautions it's okay. a, other than the ones that already exist there. All right. Very good. Real quick, yes or no, is it, in, is it covered by insurance? Oh, yeah. It's covered by insurance. Um, if it's a medical necessity, you can use it. All right, Dr. Karthik Narala, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this was an exclusive. You're not going to hear it on any other station. That's why it pays to watch Mondays with Monica right here on 8 News Now. Good day, Las Vegas, baby. Dr. Narala, thank you. Have a great thank rest you, of your Monica. week. All right. Take hey, care. folks. And don't forget to catch my MOJ Show Facebook Live tonight. We're going to replay that interview for you. And hey, you know, stay on top of this. Sherry, I was really excited to hear about it because I know uh, heart disease number one killer of men mm -hmm. and women in this country. 600,000 thousand people die yearly from heart disease. That is crazy. And he talks about it so calmly. It's just like, yeah, this could save your life. Absolutely mm -hmm. it can. And he's the first doctor in the state to get wow, it. Wow, that's yep. awesome. Congratulations. Glad to hear it is here for us. Yep. Thank you, Monica.